everyone knows Mac OS is the most preferred operating system by the developers because of its stability and reliability that enhances the confidence of every programmer to code without worrying about anything. Since macOS is a closed source, not everyone can afford it to be used for software development. Now this is where Linux gives a hope for many developers to do the desired things what they need. Now being an open source, Linux has a huge community to fix any problem being occurred. But when you compare Linux with Mac OS, I would feel Linux is way better than Mac OS and requires a fewer system resources to install and provides the same user experience as Mac OS does. There are a lot of Linux distros that you could choose from, but not every distro is going to promise you to provide a stable user experience to an end user. Now, this is a Debian 11, the perfect Linux distro for programming. Now in this video, I'm going to talk everything about a Debian 11 or its features and why you should consider this distro as the best for programming. It doesn't matter if you are a beginner or an intermediate programmer, Debian 11 is going to be a perfect choice for your needs. You can use it for learning to program or developing Android applications, web development and more. Since Debian 11 is the new release of 2021, now let's talk about some of the new features that have been added. Now Debian 11 now supports you to install the new version of a desktop environments like GNOME, KDE Plasma, LXDE and more. Sadly, Debian 11 doesn't yet come with a GNOME 40 since Debian prefers a stability and hence the desktop environment versions are not the latest ones. Now Debian 11 comes with an updated package repositories which include around 11,000 new packages and almost a 42,000 existing packages are updated to the newer versions. Now this means you can see the newer versions of all applications like LibreOffice, GIMP and programming related tools that are pre-installed. Since Debian 11 is an LTS release and uses a kernel 5.10, now this kernel has been optimized and tweaked to run on most of the older hardware and enables the basic functionalities like XFAT file system support and also brings its support for printers with a driverless printing and scanning. Now feature-wise, this is not a major release. Now instead, it's concentrated more towards the stability. Now it's time to talk about why Debian 11 is the perfect Linux distro for programming. Now Debian is one of the most crucial Linux distros, not because it's popular, but because of many other distros are based on a stable branch. The reason why Debian is being the home for developers is because of the large collection of packages and software support. Now this is a boon for programmers and system administrators. Now, just like Windows and Mac OS, Debian 11 has an incredible support from third-party companies like Microsoft, JetBrains, Google, Oracle, and many other vendors. Now, all these vendors made their tools available in Linux for building a software and can be installed in a few steps. Now, Debian 11 uses a DPKG tool to install any GUI-based applications like Android Studio, IntelliJ IDEA, Visual Studio Code, and many other applications. You can also use a CLI tool known as an APT that lets you download a ton of packages with a one single command. Now let's say you want to install an Apache server, simply fire up the terminal and type this command to install in a few seconds. Now this speeds up the whole workflow for any developer. Now unlike Windows, Debian 11 comes with most of the tools pre-installed like a Python 3, GNU compiler and many other useful tools for developers. 
Now, I have been using a Debian 11 for coding in Java for a week now. Now, all I can say, it's a fantastic experience. Also, I try to build a, some of a GUI-based applications using a JavaFX framework, and most of the distros uh, tend to struggle a little bit when it comes to rendering the GUI-based applications, but Debian 11 handled the IDE and rendered the JavaFX applications without any stutters or any kind of a frame drops. Now, if in case you're an Android app developer, you can use a Debian 11 to build any kind of application you need. It won't disappoint you and delivers a smooth and lag-free experience. Now, performance-wise, it can easily run on any processor older than a decade, and a RAM management is fair enough to handle all the things running in the background. Overall, I would say uh, Debian 11 is a super stable Linux operating system that never hangs or stutter. Now, thanks to an updated GNOME desktop and a kernel 5.10, both together delivers a smooth user experience. Now, Debian 11 is an LTS release that is going to be supported for the next five years. Now, this way, you will receive all the greatest and latest features of the software and keep the system up to date. At the same time, you will also receive a security patches that keeps the OS secure and safe. So what do you guys think about a Debian 11? Now, if in case you are a programmer and tell me a which Linux distro that you are currently using by commenting on this video. Also, if in case you like this video and what you see, subscribe to this channel and help me to grow. Now, thanks for your time for watching this video. This has been KSK Ryle. I'll see you in my next one.